Creating a slot milling toolpath also can be done in two methods. The first method is direct curve selection and the second method is using a feature set. So here we are going to see a curve selection method. For that, I'm going to create a pattern here. In this pattern, I'm entering into the curve edit mode. Draw a line at the center of the slot. Here I'm going to draw this line well outside this part to plunge my cutter from outside. So now I'm going to transfer this particular center line uh, to other slots also by mirror option. So I transferred all the floor slots. Accept this. Go into a toolpath strategy page. Select your 2D curve profile strategy. Here I'm going to select that particular pattern and change your position as follow the curve option and your lower limit is minus three that is your slot depth select your tool here so my block is just exactly at the part end so i'm just extending this this block to plunge my cutter well outside this part so i'm just giving 15 mm and just say calculate here just extending in the x direction only by locking this to y and z option come back to your cut distance page select limit as your option and you enter your depth of cut here here i'm going to uh, switch off all my lead in and lead outs so for uh, and my links as skim skim safe after entering my feed and speed data, I'm calculating this toolpath. If you see this toolpath here, it is starting from this end because we had drawn the line from center of this slot to outside the so flow. The flow direction is it is coming in opposite. So I want to change this direction from this area. That means well plunge outside the path. So for that, I'm just going to reorder this just say reverse direction now if you see this tool path if you run this it will plunge outside the path and it will do the slot milling by this way you can create the slot milling tool path